What's up guys, Towton Robertson back at it again. And in today's video, I am going to show you everything that you need to know about the app Scout League. So let's jump into it. What's up guys, we're in my computer screen. So let's get down to business. All right, we enter in the, the ISBN of the book. This is how we determine what book is what. Uh, Scoutly is essentially an app that pulls data from Amazon and relays it to you in a nice simple screen. And it has smart triggers to say, hey, this is a book that has profit and has potential versus this book has been oversold and underbought and no longer carries high value. Simple as I can put it. So let's figure out what everything is. Scoutly, this is your menu slash the name of the app. This is like an address bar. You can type your ISBN in it. You can also click this microphone here and you can do text or speech to text. So it's a lot faster sometimes to just click that, read out the ISBN, and it automatically enters it for you. In addition to that, you can click on here and then click to text with regular letters and do a title search. So that's going to be essential for you finding books that do not have an ISBN or a barcode. All right, the next thing we got here is this little LV. This stands for live mode. This means that when you scan the book, a signal goes from your phone to the satellite, receives the data, and then comes back and displays the data on your phone. The alternative to that is database, which means you have everything stored in your phone and it doesn't have to send a signal and receive a signal in order for it to work. It just pops up. So you actually save a lot of time by using database mode. So that can be the difference between scanning 600 books an hour and 1,000 books an hour. All right, right here we have our COGS. COGS, that simply means cost of good. So when we're out looking and sourcing for books, we want to know how much do they cost. If they cost $10, more than likely, I'm not going to find a whole lot because I have to pay 10 bucks and in order for me to pay 10 bucks and it makes sense, I need to make at least 30. So a lot of times you go to thrift stores, the books are a dollar or two. Uh, sometimes they're cheaper, sometimes they're more expensive, but generally speaking, between a dollar and $2 is your average price for the book. So I use a dollar 25 most of the time. Uh, sometimes I use $2, it just depends where I'm at and what, what's the prices of the books, but you can change this at any time. And so you definitely want to enter in your cost of goods when you're out looking for books. That way that you're pulling better books. All right. Next thing we want to talk about is our target. So this is the price that Scoutly deems as the target price for this book. Now, in this case, it is $4.99. Uh, I would say really the target price is $5. Uh, but... When Scoutly doesn't accept a book, it doesn't actually show you the real target price. Now, I know that if I looked at, at the data, it would pull $5 if this was a, an accept. However, it's no profit at that amount of money. So I know that's not going to happen. All right. But on really expensive books, it'll pull the, the target price better or even just any accept, any buy. So the main thing we want to worry about is whether it's a buy or a reject. If it's a reject, we don't want it. Leave it on the shelf. Don't take it home with you. That book's not going to make you any money. All right. So then you also have profit. Now you can change this from profit to FBA to profit to MF. So if you want it to be with all of these sellers, you could, or you can opt in for the FBA program, send your books to Amazon, let them do the fulfillment, let them do the customer service and you don't have to package up individual books every single time they sell. So it saves a lot of time. Now, 
One benefit to doing FBA is, look, you have 44 guys out here trying to sell this book from their home or their warehouse or their uh, shop, whatever you want to call it. But you have six guys that are trying to send it from Amazon and Amazon favors those who work with Amazon. They don't want inventory sitting in their warehouses, taking up space. They want the stuff gone. They want to move it. So when you're selling here, you're going to sell faster and you're going to have less competition. And not to mention all of the FBA sellers have prime shipping attached to their item. So the customers are really happy to pay a little bit more to get that free two day shipping. Okay. So uh, this right here is your sales rank. Now, to me, sales rank does not matter. Uh, it is an indication of how good a book is. So if you learn sales rank and you don't have the data for the sales count, then that can uh, help you out because it gives you an idea of how fast something actually sells. Most of the time, you want to use your sales count. Your sales count is a number from zero to 186. And so... The higher this number, the more times it sells. Essentially, a book that has a sales count of 186 sells every single day. A book with a sales count of six sells once per month. And so essentially, whatever this number is, that's how many times it sold in the last six months. And then we also have fair value. This is really negligible. You don't need to worry about this. I hardly ever look at it. This right here, like I said, is your merchant fulfilled offers. So these are the people that are shipping from their house, their office, their shop, and they're sending it through the United States Postal Service and their packages arrive in seven to 10 days to where these are your two day prom shipping offers. And then we also have new we don't sell new in the book category because you have to have an invoice from a publisher. So unless you are buying directly from the publisher, do not sell books as new. Even if they're brand new, still in their sleeve, I would list them as like new because you don't have an invoice to back it up. And then this is new FBA. So this is pretty much the same as the used FBA, except for these are actual new books. Now, right now, there are no U or new FBA offers. So the next best offer is the 822, which is why it has the buy box. Now, someone could come in with a new FBA offer of, let's say, even 1197. More than likely, they will still get the buy box because they offer the two-day shipping and customers love two-day shipping. Okay. Used buy box. Now, I, I have said buy box a couple times in this video. So I just want you to think about this very simply. When you go to an Amazon page, let's say you search up a book, let's just call it Harry Potter. You're looking for Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone and you go on there and then you see buy new for 1088 and then you see buy used for 877. Those are the buy box prices. Those are the prices that Amazon displays to the customer when choosing between new and used. They also have another button underneath it that says see all buying options, which will allow you to see the rest of these numbers. Okay, so now that we know what a buy box is, buy box is just the price that Amazon determines to be the best price with the fastest shipping from a seller who has good credentials. Simple as that. If you're a bad seller, you're not going to win the buy box. If you're a new seller, you're not going to win the buy box initially. But after a few months and you prove yourself, you're more likely to get the buy box. And fun fact, 90% of all Amazon sales happen at the buy box. That number might be a little off, but it's pretty close to 90%. Okay, and then we have the title of the book the sports book, hardcover, and then we have a picture of the book. So you will see here that you have hardcover. When you're out scanning, you definitely want to pay attention to that 
because sometimes the ISBNs could be off and what Amazon has on their end is a hardcover, but what you're showing is a paper bag. So when you're using a barcode scanner, that's more likely to happen than when you're actually scanning the ISBN. When you scan the ISBN, you get much better results. And then this is your scan button. This is what you're going to press to scan any item, uh, book, barcode, whatever you need to scan. And then you have all of these little things down here. You don't need to worry about those. I never use them. Okay, so now that we know what everything on this page is, let's go through some examples. All right, here we go. Yoga, Tai Chi, massages, it's a reject. Okay, sales count zero. You can see that the sales rank is really high. This means that book does not sell. The lower the sales rank, the better the book. So the book with a number one sales rank is the top selling book at Amazon. The, if the sell rank, sales rank is at two, then that's the second best selling book at Amazon. And so if you have a sales rank of 1 million, that is the 1 millionth best sell, selling book at Amazon. And so we typically like to stay under 2 million. All right, here's a buy. We have 186 sales count. That means this book sells every single day. Our target price is 2249. So what we have here is it actually picking 2249 from Amazon. So that's what Amazon is actually selling the book as. So it the way the triggers are set up, now triggers are just indicators of whether or not the book is good. It takes a percentage from the Amazon price, usually five to 10% off of this and says, is this a good price? So essentially you can price this book five to 10% lower than Amazon and still make $7.57. More than likely you, you can price it at the used buy box and make about the same, a little bit more. And that's what I would do. I would price it at the buy box and I would get a sale. That is no doubt in my mind. All right. So another reject here. So we can see the target price. These are very low offers. Uh, we typically don't like to look at offers under $10. Uh, when you start looking at offers under $10, you're really pinching pennies. We wanna work with these high-end books that people want. So I like to see high prices and high demand, just like the last book. So <clears throat> this does sell new for $37. So that someone would be like, oh, it's 37 new. Well, there's so many used copies that are trying to be sold and no demand for the book. So more than likely, this book will stay cheap. All right, next reject. We have 13 sales in the last six months for ultimate golf techniques. We have all these 107 used offers, 13 used FBA, 11 new FBA, and then 25 new offers. So there's a lot of people actually trying to sell this book, but you can see here that there is no demand and therefore the prices are very low. Like I said, these are under $10. We don't like to work with books that are under $10. All right, here's another reject. Now, you can see my sales rank is actually green. I've set this up so that it tells me when a book sells fast because this can be used as an indication of whether you can sell it to a used bookstore or not. Typically, fast selling books get bought at used bookstores or at least trade in credit. They'll give you trade in credit for your books. And so sometimes you can use that to get discounts on buying more books. So you can go in, take a bunch of your books that really don't make you any money and trade them in for store credit and then turn around and use that store credit to buy you books that will make you money. But we can see it sold 130 times in the last six months. So this thing sells like 20 times a month. So it's pretty fast moving, but you can still see that we're under $10. There's no room for profit here. 
So this is a book we would avoid, but you can take it in for store credit and more than likely you will get credit. All right, another reject here. Again, the prices are very low. The demand is very low. Not really a book we're looking for. All right, another one. This one, again, sales counts low. Prices are low. So most of the time when a book gets rejected, it's because the sales count is either too low or the prices are either too low or both. We, we want the opposite. We want fast selling, highly profitable books. So on to the next one. Here we go. This is a buy. Now this one's a buy because we have significant profit. If we're paying $1.25 and we're turning this into $32, we're almost uh, multiplying our money by 20, 25 times over. So that is incredible. I mean, when you can take a dollar and turn it into 25 or in $30, this is how you really make good money. So this would be a book that I would definitely suggest selling living in Portugal. And we can see the used buy box price is $49.66, which is also our target price. So that's where we would want to price our book. This is the used buy box price. There's three other people selling it at this price. And we can see that there's a 14 sales count. So that means it sells two times every month. And then on occasion, on an occasion or so, it'll sell three times in a month. So what does that tell us? Well, there's no new offers for this book. So that's good. We don't even have to compete with new, but we do have a kind of a low demand twice a month. It's not super huge. And so we really have, I would say four competitors here. These four bottom FBA prices, those are going to be your four competitors. So I would price it right here with these guys. These are going to be the guys that you're going to be competing with. So $49.66 is where I would come in and price it. And if my book is in good condition, more than likely I'll, mine will get bought before this guy gets bought. So really, I would only have three competitors who are selling theirs very good. They would probably get the sales before me. And uh, I would just have to wait two to three months for this book to sell. But I could definitely count on this book selling within two to three months. All right, another one. Okay, so this one's a little different. We have a buy. This is going to be a book that we want because we have $17 profit. So with $17 profit, <clears throat> that's getting it priced at $37.94. Now you can see here that the sales rank is a little high. It's getting close to 2 million. So if it's pretty close to 2 million, it doesn't sell that much. And we can see here that it only sells six times in six months. So this book sells about once a month. Now I would feel confident to sell this book for $37.94. Uh, because there are no used FBA prices here. So if I sent this book in and priced it at $37.94, I would get the buy box because this guy's selling it for $37.94 and they're going to take 10 days for the book to get to your house to where mine would only take two days. And I would still be priced under the new. And then again, none of these prices are free two day shipping. So I could come in at this $37.94 and my book probably would be the next book that sold more than likely. I, I would feel confident that this book would sell within two to three months at the very least. All right, here's another buy. Now, this is an extremely good book, a great book to, to look out for. So we can see the target price is $54.95. It's a buy and the profit on it would be $36.24. So we can see that the target price is the used buy box. That's perfect. That's where we would sell at. So you can actually see right here that it is the highest on this column. It's the highest price on this column. So technically these are competitors as well, but with the buy box being this high, I 
would price it at the buy box because if it sells 101 times in six months, this book will have sold within a month at this price. So I have no doubt about that. I would sell it at that price, $54.95, and I would make my $36. Great book. Now, you can also see down here, these are what you call buyback companies. Buyback companies essentially will pay you this amount, $9.50, $9.39, $10.04. These are buyback companies offering you this amount of money for this book. Now, if you're selling it on Amazon, I would suggest selling it on Amazon because you're going to get $36. Bucks. That's way better than $10. Bucks. So sell it on Amazon, get that bread. But sometimes these can be just as much as you would make on Amazon. And in that case, send it to these guys because that's money right now. That's not money that you have to wait on. All right, next book. We have another reject, as you can see. Sales ranks very high, sales counts very low, and prices are very low. That's a book we want to avoid. All right. Here's another one. You heard the little cha-ching. That just lets you know that there were some buyback companies that were willing to buy this book. Now, this one does have a $12.94 used good price. So you might be able to sell this and actually make some money, but it's not going to be much. Essentially, it's not enough profit for me to buy it. So I wouldn't expect you to buy it either. All right. Another buy. $19.99 target price. We would make six bucks and it sells two times every month and then occasionally three times in a month. But we can see the used buy box is at $19.99. There's only two used FBA offers. I feel confident that if you price it at $19.99, your book will sell within a couple months. All right, another reject, very low sales count, very high rank. We want to avoid high rank, avoid low sales count, and definitely avoid low prices. Okay, guys, I have taught you everything you need to know to get started using Scoutly and finding profitable books. So now you just have to take action, go to your thrift stores, and find these profitable books. If you found anything in this video to be helpful, go ahead, smash that like button, hit the subscribe button, and stay tuned so you can learn everything you need to know to go from zero to $100,000 selling used books on Amazon. And that's it, guys. Can't wait to see you next time.